have arrived, or I have arrived, at a place called Beppu. Beppu is famous for hot water. There's two sorts of hot water here. There's things called hells, which are like geothermic doodars, and then there's onsen, which you can bathe in because you don't boil. Uh, and uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'll see if I can take the opportunity while I'm here. Oh, look, look. Hey? Ooh. And while I'm here, I'll also see about uh, so I can wash the poo off my shorts. No, really, look, look. I know how much you like my jokes. Konnichiwa, that's a general purpose greeting. Like, hello, whatcha, who am I? Uh, why have I done that? Until another day. Oh, more drinks. This is just as you come out of the station. Please enjoy dipping your hand. Oh, which one shall I dip? <laughs> And this statue is of the man called Shiny Uncle, who loved children. And there he is in a bit of a dance there. And there's an impish little fellow. Oh, there he is, with double horns. Oh, I don't think you can see, he's a bit, bit of a silhouette, isn't he? Hanging off his coattails. And this is the man they called Shiny Uncle, who loved children. Oh, that's a nice memorial. Don't forget to show hospitality to strangers. Hospitality is very important. It's one of the ways we let people know that we've enjoyed our communications with them. I remember one time I went to see some friends and they looked after me and I sent them a card. I said, thank you very much for your hospitality. I hope I get an opportunity to hospitalize you soon. I haven't heard back yet. It was 2002. Look, it's some more groovy taxis. This relatively old-fashioned shape is quite common. I've seen it everywhere I've been. Everywhere I've been in Japan. They're all like this, some of them are different. This one thinks he's a police car. They're all incredibly smart and shiny though. Perhaps they're that designed so people can pick them out easily or perhaps, I don't know why, I don't know. If you know why, oh, I don't know. Tell somebody else about it. I'm too busy in Beppo. Poo, Beppo. A Beppo. Look at this. Even the man on the crossing, even green crossing man has a lovely hat and I think he's wearing a suit. Even green crossing man is very smart. Well, Beppu, Beppu, Beppu. Um, I've got myself a little room, look, a whole room. Not sharing a dorm in a hostel, so this is the first uh, simple Japanese room I've been in. Uh, 3,000 yen, which is about 20 quid, that's pretty amazing really. Beppu, home of hot water. That's where they invented it, Beppu, did you know that? Yeah. There he is again, the big nose one, it's a bit like Richard Nixon, isn't he? There he is again, the one who is the messenger between us and the gods. And his big nose to keep him from getting too close to the gods. Just had a very confusing time with the lady on the desk because I thought I'd have a sand bath and I, I, don't, know, I don't know if she's saying that the that they've booked up, or if there's no sand, somebody's eaten all the sand. Anyway, here's an onsen. I can show you this because nobody's here. Look, look, I'm going to voluntarily get into that. It looks rather grubby, doesn't it? But this is how Japanese men have fun. There's my things. This is going off now because it's close off time for me and all the other Japanese men who aren't here. I'll uh, record my thoughts about the onsen as I stroll along this empty arcade. It's all closing down now. Drinking my cal piss soda. I'm feeling quite uh, now. That onsen is uh, probably one of the chapters over Sam. It's one of the most important ones in Japan because it's very old and also <clears throat> it's at a temperature of 43 degrees centigrade. I mean, I don't even have my bath that hot. It was very hot, but you go hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, soapy at the beginning, soapy at the end, everything's fine. 
and I had about an hour and a bit there and I'm a bit, oh now, talked to a French chap there. I was very pleased to be able to help a Thai chap because his English, not being very good, wasn't very good with the Japanese whose English wasn't very good that he met, and I was able to explain to him the rules of the onsen and how to onsenite in a correct fashion. If you go to an onsen and you've got tattoos, they won't let you in, and that is apparently because the Yakuza, I think they're called, the kind of Japanese version of the Mafia, they all have these big tattoos and they all used to meet in onsen and scare everybody else and be gits. So if you've got a tattoo and you think they're coming to Japan, you're not going to be doing the onsen thing. I'm sorry to have to break the news to you, I really am. Mud-filled paradise. This onsen connects directly with a geothermal source the likes of which are not to be found anywhere else. An unforgettable sensation. As if you are entering right into hell. Oh. The earth has given the hot spring source such viscosity, so I'm drunk today, don't I, that it almost seems alive. The way the mud clings to me reeks of primordial bestiality. That's what Kozaburo Arashiyama did in his, his work, Hot Spring Travelogue. I wonder if it's translated that well. Now we go to do it in all these things, all sorts of things, all sorts of things, including the one I want to see, which is that. That's what I want to go and have a go at. Don't use soap and shampoo. Naked, please. Don't put towel, bathing suit and underwear. One of thieves. I'm in the mud bath, look. There's the mud. And I think you're going to do this with it. I'm not sure. I'm just going to put it, you know, do this. And then it makes it even more beautiful, I think. It feels nice. I don't think that's really good. Oh. Oh. There. Am I more beautiful now? Well, I had to go in the outdoor mud bath and the indoor mud bath and the indoor and the outdoor. Oh, all of them. Been here an hour and a bit and I'm knackered but in a sort of relaxed way. But one thing I don't tell you, which I, I don't know, perhaps it's in big Japanese letters, but I've got an English side, is don't get your eyes in the muddy bit. I've got my eyes in the muddy bit, and they're stinging quite a lot. I've washed them as much as I can, but they're stinging quite a lot. And um, I don't know if they're bloodshot. Oh, I can't see, because obviously I'm not, I can't see with the camera. I'll look in a minute. But a good experience, though. The mud bath, I thought it was going to be more muddy, like you're just in a big splodge of mud, like I don't know if you've ever seen or you've been at any of the major festivals when it rains and a, a mud kind of hill, a slope appears and then people start just throwing themselves wholeheartedly along it. I thought it was going to be a bit like that, but without the hippies. I was wrong. It was pleasant though, I liked it. The mud, I don't know if my skin feels nicer, do I feel 10 years younger? I don't know, I, I doubt, <laughs> it's a chance to be a fine thing. Um, so there we are, that's this one, I can't remember its name. It's the one I'd recommend to come to if you come to Beppu, just because of the mud thing. Very good, a bus ride and a short walk. Oh, stingy eyes. Oh, and the other thing is, uh, it's mixed here, it's mixed. Um, and you don't have to wear bathing suits. Um, there was a couple of women and a fellow with his daughter, young daughter, and nobody seemed to mind, so obviously the Japanese aren't all uptight about nakedness like uh, some countries are. Yeah, so it was mixed. When it said it was mixed, I thought it meant English and Japanese. I didn't know. So I guess that's where the uh, really, really hot water gets pumped from. They've, they've capped off that particular vent and really here it is really really smelly I'm thinking it must be sulfur oh yeah it's pretty awful that must be what's stinging my eyes as well but uh, poo pongy land welcome to pongy land here we have a suitably mud colored Buddha and up here we have possibly the most joyful toilet sign I've ever seen look how happy those people are 
very nice. It's very laid back. It's nice. Look at this lovely sofa. Nice open feel. And I'd imagine when it gets busy, perhaps it doesn't anymore. Perhaps this is one of those things. Perhaps this is something people used to do a lot. I mean, it's Sunday, so wouldn't you expect it to be busy Sunday lunchtime? I don't know. Lovely space. Great mud bath. Careful of your eyes. I think the Japanese is getting a bit better. I think this sign means keep out or you die. Because it's all along, look, there, all along. Can you see in the distance? And there is a big steamy fellow. And there's some things that are humming. And they look a bit old and rusty. Pipes. And things. It's like a science fiction film from the 50s. We just wait for something to appear, some creature. Ooh, there I am. It's me, I am a creature. <laughs>